Inner tensions are a barrier between what I see and my soul. If I don't eliminate or lower the barrier, nothing can resonate in my soul. And if it doesn't resonate in my soul, then how can I show others a treasure that I found in everyday life that can resonate in their soul? That would be impossible. I have to do some work on myself and prepare myself for before I take photographs. I'm looking for the truth, but it isn't a scientific truth, it isn't a documentary truth, but it's rather an inner truth, which is tied to an authentic living experience. So I feel that is the deepest part of a human being. And I call such situations intense moments, and it's intensive both ways. For myself as a photographer, and for the person or persons whom I photograph. I use two Leicas, both of them are old. One of them is with a 35 millimeter lens. My favorite one is the 1.4 aspherical, which I use most of the time. And then I have a second Leica, which is much, much older. It's the M42, which I use with a 50 millimeter lens, and that's simply because sometimes I can't get too close to people because I disrupt the scene. Sometimes I don't want to be seen. And I usually wear a wrist strap. And then I attach one of the two Leicas here. And this is the way I work. This is the square in front of the cathedral in Vilnius. And it's a place which is usually crowded on Saturdays and Sundays. People here come to play, walk around. Sometimes you see couples who are in love. Many things happen, you know, it's always good to explore a place where you feel that there's a potential. A good picture is always a surprise. I never expect anything. I simply observe. What is important for me is the experience itself, the place itself, and to forget about myself. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
when I see something that I like, I try to get as close as possible to frame and compose the best possible way with respect to the background and capture the moment when they are expressing feelings towards each other. We are here in Prumlov, a beautiful Czech town. It's very, very picturesque and it attracts tourists from all over the world, especially from Japan. Working on your emotions is very important because you have to know yourself and know how you react to what you see. This means not only scenes but people, how you react to them. Just like someone will fall in love with one type of person and not with another type of person, you also are attracted by some people and not by other people. You have to really know yourself and you have to have a very good intuition. There's something very strange that happens is that when you are prepared and if you are in a good mood, if you have an appropriate attitude, then something happens even without you knowing it in advance. It's like a surprise that is given to you as a gift. But if you are not prepared for it, if you are not looking carefully around you, you will most probably miss it.